Hi, Space Report Diva. In this video, I'm talking about review of Kamusa Mekong autograph session, which I had yesterday. Uh, to, to those who might not have idea who is Kamusa Mekong, uh, to briefly explain about him, he is the godfather of Omega Tribe. And he supported City Pop at the first line till now. He is, I think he's one of the important person for City Pop. So I'm really happy to uh, see him in person. One of my dreams come true. Um, so he, uh, Kamosami Kong, released his own City Pop compilation album in the last July. He came to promote this to temples in Osaka, where Asian Suzuki exhibition was held. I have talked to the owner of this gallery before, and he really wanted to have Kong-san come over there to have autograph, autograph session uh, for the album, and so did I. So here, I want to thank all of you who supported the uh, Instagram story mentioning Kamosami Kong uh, so that he will come over to Osaka from Tokyo and I do not think he actually saw the story by himself but it happened anyway so thank you so much for supporting me and hopefully I can report what happened in the autograph session from here okay uh, I mainly want to talk about my first expression oh no first impression about Kamasami Kong uh, first of all, he is very friendly. Uh, he came earlier, arrived to earlier to the session, and he was just there and to, um, you know, see Asian Suzuki original pictures um, and talk to, come talk to other participants from himself. I was pretty surprised that with that because. I see him as a star, you know, he is, um, he has connection to other city pop stars, of course, and I, I also see him as a star, but he didn't let us know, like, he didn't let us be nervous at all. So, yeah, I didn't feel any border in between. And... He asked other participants, what is your name? Not even like, not when about to put autograph on, but within the conversation. And what else? Oh, I could exchange things by airdrop with him. Like, um, I wanted to give him uh, like a greeting card to like, express to him welcome back to osaka and congratulations on his compilation album it is this yeah and i could uh, send him by airdrop which i was pretty surprised by his um, casualty okay second he has such a great hospitality he asked other participants and me uh, if or do you want to take picture by himself and he also brought up uh, fun topics about city pop like um, how city pop is getting so much attention from worldwide and he also told me that he was pretty surprised when he got phone call from Avex which is a Japanese label about making this album like he was like City pop, like what? That was like forty years ago. Why right now? And then uh, they told they told him it is getting popular, and he was also surprised that um, they are releasing uh, his album as cassette. Like cassette. He was. It seems like he realized he recognized the uh, revival of city pop pretty recently, which is pretty uh, surprising to me. But yeah, he is really energetic. And I could I could feel that 
he is um, trying to entertain the person in front of him. So I could learn about, I could learn a lot from him a lot uh, through the day. And third, uh, he is very quick to take action. Okay. Um, surprisingly, I said hi to him and I told him that I am sleep of diva. Uh, I am operating the account. And he said, oh, I know you. Like you are kind of famous which was pretty like surprising to me. And what's more, um, actually he, he is talking to Naito Tempo-san and Naito Tempo-san talked about, he told me that Naito Tempo-san talked about me to Kong-san. So I was like, what is going on exactly? But like, I'm so happy and pretty honored that Kung san actually recognizes me as City Pop Diva. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. And it seems like Kung san just had a conversation on, on online chat with Naito Tempo san and he wanted to like send a video of Temples and Gallery there. So he just sent a video that I also joined. Just saying hi Naito Tempo san. Yeah, kind of like this and send it to him. So I I pops up pops up in a video that Kong San just sent to Night Tempson, which is amazing. Okay, so I asked him a question about if he is going to have another FM station 8090, and he said I hope so. So Okay, then I said, uh, what about having Miss Oja for the second album? Because she is being so successful in singing other like huge major hit city pop songs like Midnight Pretenders or Plastic Love and also um, Flight in Chinatown as well. So I, I was promoting her and then he said, oh, okay, I want to like record what you just said to my, to that video so that I can send to the label Evex. Like, oh, have, have this, have, have this microphone and you, you speak like this. I was like, okay. <laughs> then this is the video that I talked. Hi Evex, I'm City Pop Diva. I'm looking yeah, for so I was pretty nervous um, to talk to talk in front of camera recorded by Kamasami Kong which is crazy but I did it anyway I enjoyed kind of like spontaneous work like that and what he said what he said after recording he said she is a star I think you're totally he says she is a star after this I'm so honored and that was great experience to talk in front of Eijin Suzuki original pictures and um, Kiyotaka Sugiyama and Omega Tribe as background music. What an honor as um, City Pop accounts. That was so amazing experience. So yeah, I think I covered everything. Um, I think I can see him uh, pretty soon again. And yeah, for the next time I see him, I want to um, share what other, what my followers uh, think about him. Um, so if you have question about Kamasami Kong, please share on the comment below or um, anything that you want me to tell him on behalf of you, uh, please let me know uh, that at the comment below. Okay, thanks for watching. Uh, see you in the next video. Bye bye.